What's wrong with basic monofocal IOLs? Can this issue be solved by toric monofocals? And what better alternative to monofocals you may get in 2025? Hi there! My name is Oleksi at IOL Advisor channel, telling the truth about IOLs. Monofocal IOLs are the basic choice for cataract treatment for more than 75 years. And even now, they represent up to 90% of all IOLs implanted worldwide. We have been using monofocals for years, and honestly, they do their job. Treating cataract, the cloudy lens is removed, and the new clear lens is implanted. Well, you probably know that you will need a reading glasses, but that's not a big deal, as you at your 60 already used to it. So why care? Sounds reasonable, but honestly not, and let me explain you why. Whatever your visual experience is, either your vision was clear and sharp from your school ages, or you was wearing glasses all of your life, you definitely know that near vision, unless you are nearsighted in range of about from minus 2 to minus 3 diopters, started to decline with age, approximately when you turned 40 or 50 sometimes. The reason for that is the loss of accommodation, a natural focusing mechanism of our eye, which allows us to see clearly at any distance from our eyes when we are young. Accommodation is a shape change or natural crystalline lens, and due to that change, its optical power is changing, allowing us to see at different distances. Easy, but this mechanism degrades with age, and that's why we do need readers. Modern IOLs, those are commercially available of any type, do not support accommodation. Thus, we either have only one fixed focal point as with monofocal, or multiple focal points for far, intermediate and near with multifocal or certain elongation of focus with EDOF lenses. Multifocal and EDOF lenses are special lenses designed to give to a patient freedom off glasses, and that's why it's out of basic solution scope, more expensive and considered premium. Monofocal lenses are way cheaper but require glasses to see up close, as glasses virtually substitute accommodation externally. There are two major problems with monofocal IOLs in this scenario. First, more or less known, however still not evident to about half of the patients, and it's related to glasses use scenario. Some people think that if they will put reading glasses, they will be able to read, and at the same time, they still will see clearly at far distance, and that's wrong. Putting glasses on for reading will switch off distance, and vice versa. So, to be able to see far and near, you have to put on and off your readers. And second problem is not known to, I would say, 100% of patients, it's related to depth of field with basic monofocal IOL. It means that if you compare your visual experience with your healthy natural lens at age of 50 and sometimes even at age of 70, the depth of field, which is distance where you may see relatively sharp, is way smaller with monofocal IOL than with your natural lens, at least due to residual accommodation. It is a real issue for people who have decided to go with basic monofocal and are active enough in daily life as visual acuity and functioning in terms of vision will be worse than expected, simply due to shallower depth of field. Some people do a mistake, thinking that toric IOL is solving that problem, because sometimes in articles it's written that toric IOLs reduce need of glasses, and that's true, but in the meaning of distance vision glasses, which are essential for a good vision if person have astigmatism, and toric IOL will correct that. But it will not add depth of field, that's the problem. In order to improve that limitation, in 2019, JNJ invented Technis Ihans IOL, which significantly increases depth of field compared to monofocal, but not giving it wide enough to compensate need of reading glasses. This IOL opened the era of so-called enhanced monofocal IOLs, which are not as expensive as presbyopia correcting IOLs, and significantly improve functional vision by giving a wider zone of sharp vision without glasses and with smaller readers than normally used. Nowadays we have few IOLs of that type, like iHands, particularly BNL Aspire, Rayner Ray1 EMV and some others, and important to note that Alconclarion is not in that range, as some people may think due to their misleading information on the website. I've talked about that in my recent Alconclarion review. So, if in your favorite clinic, you are thinking about monofocal IOL, ask your doctor about enhanced monofocal options and get better visual outcomes. My favorite IOL from that range is AHANS for sure, as it has the highest quality of vision based on numerous publications, and the highest level of scientific evidence supporting its advantages with no contraindications at all. 
just like basic monofocal IOL. And if you want to be spectacle-free to a larger extent, you may ask your doctor about mini monovision with iHance, not basic monovision, it's important, or think about presbyopia, correcting options. Ask questions in the comments, and I wish you good vision.